Tonight we're learning more about one of the young men killed in last week's shooting. The graduate of Sutherland High School, 20-year-old Trevin Anspaugh, is remembered as a leader and a star athlete. Fox 12 Simon Gutierrez is live in Roseburg with what a high school teammate and a fellow UCC student shared about him. Simon? Yeah, that fellow UCC student actually had a class in the very same classroom the shooting took place in the very next day, right around the same time. Crazy coincidence there. Before all this happened, though, he played high school soccer and basketball with Trevin Anspaugh, and he remembers the young man who stood out from his peers. Driving into Sutherland, one of the first things you see is a sign honoring victims of the UCC shooting. Drive a little farther down Central Avenue, and you'll see a smaller sign honoring one man in particular. He was probably one of the more well-known kids at the school. Nick Brewer's grandfather put up the sign in front of his shop. Nick played soccer and basketball with Trevin Anspaugh, who graduated from Sutherland High School in 2014. He was always one of the more outspoken guys on the team. He was, if we ever got down, you could count on him to kind of try to pick the team up a little bit. And so it came as a shock to hear his former teammate was one of nine people killed on the UCC campus. At first it was just rumors that we heard, and then it, later that night it came out to be true. It was just kind of hard to believe that you didn't you didn't want to believe that it was somebody that close to you since the shooting details have come out about Trevin's final moments a fellow student said he laid on top of her shielding her from the gunman I believe he's the kind of guy that would do that I mean if he uh, if he could have the chance to protect somebody else I definitely believe he would have done it at Sutherland High School meanwhile the flag flies at half staff news of Trevin's death has had an impact. Yeah, it has, definitely, even if they didn't really know him, but it's just the fact that it's one of our own. As for Brewer, he says he would have been in that same classroom where his fellow UCC students were slaughtered the very next day. I just don't understand how somebody could show that that high level of cowardice to just take innocent lives like that. According to Trevin's former principal, memorial services for him are scheduled for some time next Saturday. More details aren't available right now, he said. Trevin's family still very much in mourning. Reporting live in Roseburg, Simon Gutierrez, Fox 12 Oregon.